All right, today on the Hardwood Rod Podcast, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to put someone to sleep. All right, guys, we are back here on the Hardwood Rod Podcast, and I'm joined today by Anthony Ruiz, aka Sideshow. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey, well, we're going to get into it here. Uh, we also got Mark. What's up, He's in the building. Mark Cerna. He's you guys, you guys, boy. you guys, you guys might know him from uh, okay. a couple films and some bachata videos. <laughs> bachata. Yeah. But and some today, backflip head videos. Right, right, right. <laughs> But uh, today we're going to get into uh, some jujitsu, and we're going to kind of dive in and pick Anthony's brain a little bit. So um, first things first, man, introduce yourselves and how you got into jujitsu. Uh, I got into it from, well, my name is Saicho, okay? That's my nickname. So uh, I used to train in kickboxing at this place called LA Boxing. It was in Torrance, and then... Like maybe a couple months in, they added a jiu-jitsu class and me and my dad took it. And then like we oh, so kind of from like a childhood from the beginning. Yeah. When I was like 15, 15 ish. So right like high school. Yeah. High school times. And then, um, you know, so eventually we started to move towards the jiu-jitsu side. Yeah. Because, we, you know, um, and then uh, sooner or later, we just like left to a different school which is where I train. I still train there at the Gracie Academy in Torrance. And we'll talk about that in a, in a bit here. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I've been there ever since. So kind of what, what, what drew you to jujitsu as far as the actual sport itself? Because like for me, I'm going to be coming in like asking you questions like, like basic questions. Okay. And so, so some people don't even know what it is, right? So yeah. Let's let's start from the beginning. Like like, uh, how did you get into that? W what interests you? And like, is there something that like you love about it that it kind of drew you into it? For for me, I liked it a lot more because in boxing and the, and kickboxing, you know, like I'm not like a super big person, right? I'm like you know a five seven. When I was like sixteen, I was like weighing like one twenty five, right? So. Like when I would go against a big dude, like I, it would like it would be so hard for me to beat. Like I, I kind of had like they had like a way higher advantage over me, right? Like right, yeah. almost all the time, even if it was just a new dude, you know. And like I know like there's there is smaller dudes out there that could like that in kickboxing and multi that are super good and could beat those. But yeah. I don't know. For me, it just it just didn't click like that. Like yeah. you know, and I was like, but then in jujitsu, like it's like. It doesn't matter how big you are. Like, if you are have your solid technique, you can still beat that person that just came in on their first day, you know, like, due to your, like, yeah, so technique. I think, so I think it's like, I think, it sounds like you you thrive off of being the underdog, right? Kind of like, you, you kind of bring that. I would say a little, yeah, and a little, like, I, f I see it as more fair, you know? Yeah. So I'll say like that, maybe more. So, you know, with, with you kind of starting out at a, at a young age, um, like w when you got started, um, w when did you realize that this is something like, oh man, you know what? I kind of, I'm pretty good at this. Uh, probably like the past three years ago, <laughs> barely. So, yeah, so you're yeah, just finding I'll, yourself in it? Yeah, cause I was always on and off. Like, cause in that time I always wanted to like kick it with my friends. Yeah, in like, high school, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, right? like, like my dad would be like, oh, let's go train. I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends instead. And so it was like the road was kind of like this all these years until like maybe during yeah. COVID. Yeah. And that's funny, huh? Because that's when things kind of settled down. And you're like, okay, what, what the hell am I going to do? Yeah. So so your dad kind of, did he grow up with, with jiu-jitsu kind of like? No, we started in the same time. Like so, we, we took our first class together. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like basically at the same rank. Right, right. And like, you know, it's funny because a lot of people that, like that I know are just starting to get into it. Right. And it's something where it's like, I feel like you start seeing it more now, yeah, especially, it's, especially it's, on social media, you start seeing it and oh, then you yeah. start seeing these like, um, different types of, um, from different types of ages, like 
either showing you how to do it or how to um, like how it affects not not just like the physical aspect but the, your mental aspect and discipline. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about that because I know you guys just got back from doing some little swimming yeah, we're right there. with our our friend Art. Yeah, yeah. Black so, belt Art. Right. So. <laughs> Talk to us a lot about like the like the mindset, right? And what like the discipline that it brings. So I'm a, I'm gonna say for what it helped me with. So like I don't know before I would get like I have more like anger problems yeah. like in those ages like but like what jiu jitsu teaches you it's not only like the self defense aspect of it but also like you learn about yourself you know yeah. you learn how to control your emotions better like. Um, because in jiu-jitsu, there is, it's just like life. Like, you're in, you get in position sometimes in life, and you cannot do nothing about it, zero. Yeah, There's nothing you can do. You can't control it. But either wait or think of the solution, right? Right. And jiu-jitsu is, is basically the same thing. Like, there are certain, like, if you're on the bottom of the mount and someone's on top of you, you need to think of the solution. There's, a, there's always a way out. Yeah. Okay? If it's not right now in the moment, then it will take some time. Yeah. So... And it, like, I just like how it applies a lot to life and, like, almost everything you do, you know? Like, you right now, you're, like, camera editor, right? Yeah. So, like, maybe in that world, you're, like, a black belt, you know? So, like, you could kind of apply it to, like, everything. Right, right, right. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, and right now, you know, we're going to kind of showcase a little bit of, you know, if you're trying to understand what it is. Okay. You know, Sideshow is going to show us a little bit, but... Um, like when you get into it, which one of the things that you you probably would would say to somebody? Like let's say I'm just get, I'm gonna get into it and I don't know nothing about it, right? Okay. What's something you would say to them as far as like the first like okay like well, the trick, first things, tip? Yeah, I would say okay, lay down right here, and then we'll show you that right now. Actually, actually, let's do that right now, Mark. Let's. Uh, get it has to be with you. Oh, with me? Okay. Yeah, because right. he already has some knowledge. Okay, right, let's do it. Let's you, do you, it. you know, you're like, you'll react the exact way how somebody would react yeah. on their first day because they're like, what do I, they don't know what to expect or anything, you know? All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay. So, so Rodrigo, I want you to imagine you, you got in a fight or something, I don't know, whatever happened. Yeah. And you ended up in this situation, okay? So, I want you... I want you to try to get out of here, okay? Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, go. Yeah. <laughs> We're stuck, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Nowhere to go there. Okay, so now you. Oh, probably he's going to teach me how to do it right now. I will. But now you go on top of me. All right. No homo. Yeah, no, yeah, no <laughs> homo. That's exactly the first thing. Super homo. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? All so right, now you so come on the mount. This is the mount position. Right. When you see it on TV, it looks cool. But then when you do it in a person, you're like, oh, whoa. Right. Yeah. Okay, now you try to hold me down. And now let me get up, okay? So in my, my, in my way. Like how, yeah, however you want. So I'm going to hold you down, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Oh, yeah. I'm already locked. <laughs> All right. Boom. Okay. Uh, now let me show you what I did. Okay, go right here, like, on this line. Right. Okay, now I'm going to show Rodrigo what I did, okay? In a sense, this is what I, this, I'm going to show you, a word, okay, so right here, you're going to do this. Pretend someone's choking you, right? Yeah. You're going to use this hand, uh, no thumb, I like that better, okay. And you're going to glue this arm to my, to your chest, All right. so I can't just do this. So glue it to your chest, is he good? Now you have my arm. Now with that arm, you're going to cut my tricep. Like this. Yeah, and close your elbow, chicken wing, there you go. Now you're going to keep this glued. Keep it glued to your chest, cause you don't want to. Well, you don't want me to release it to accidentally like, hit you. Right, right, right. That's the goal. Okay, good. And you're cupping, and then with this foot, you're gonna trap my foot. Like that. Closer. Bring your foot more closer to, to my me? heel. Yeah. Put it like flat on the ground. More. There you go. Closer. 
There you go. Now you try my foot, right? Yeah. So now you're gonna like bridge me diagonally that way, okay? And keep this glued, like, see? Okay, right. go for it, go. So. Bridge is like, you're like, like humping the air, basically. All right, so guys, <laughs> we're, we're humping the air right now. Yeah, right? yeah, homo, homo, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Yeah. You see? Good. And go turn to your knees. Up. Good, boom. Now you're on top. Yeah, all right. See, now rewind yourself on the ground. Now, every little thing you did had a little important piece, right? right yeah. So, like, if you did not glue my arm to your chest, as soon as you bridged, I would just naturally, instinctively, even if I don't know anything, yeah. I would put my hand out here to save my head, right? Yeah. And the same thing with my foot. Instinctively, I might just, like, do this. So that's why you have to trap, you're basically trapping my whole side of my body. So you're able to achieve the move that you're doing. All right. So. So. It's like, I'm, it's like a piece to a piece to a, a uh -huh. to like a puzzle. Yes. yes. What are you gonna say about that? It's awesome. So, I mean, is that, is that kind of like, what, I mean, one of the one, like the one things that's like important to, to understand, like, okay, like you're in a position you gotta get uh -huh. a hold of their their arm and their leg to to one side, uh -huh. and then you do the bridge. Yeah, is that kind of like the, like the general? That would be like um, I would say you could I categorize guess. it in the in the worst places to be in right. a street fight with somebody on top of you like that. Right. You know, so that would be I would like at my school. That's usually how they show someone like. Yeah. This is what it is. Cool. Um, but yeah, so like as far as the discipline, right? Jiu-jitsu, right? And your your purple belt, and your goal, I mean, I'm assuming, is to get to the black belt, right? Uh, it's it's, they they say it used to be that, but then, when you have that mentality, once you reach the black belt, you're like, okay, now what? And then you might get all sad and depressed, like, oh, now now what goal? You know? Yeah. So kinda it's, like, it's, yeah, kind of like when for for everything where you get to the goal and. Yeah, you, so you 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 want to feed off of something that yeah, you want to like the journey, right? Like yeah, you so, enjoy the journey rather than the destination. Yep. So then I would say it's more my goal is just to become the best like I could be, you know? And then with that mindset, eventually I'll get the black belt, but then when I get it, like okay, cool, I got it. I keep going, you know? So uh it's been a cool road. I like it. It's been I feel like it's like life, like really like Yeah. When I was a blue belt, it was like my jiu-jitsu training was like on, off, on, off. And just like in my life, like I'll, I'll be pumped up doing some good stuff. Yeah. And then like, oh, now nah, just like hanging out too much. And then I feel like now Purple Belt, like I'm, I'm solid with training and then solid with everything else going on in my life. So yeah, like, yeah. I mean, weird, I mean, you're doing all these videos with, you know, jiu-jitsu and combat training. And if you guys haven't seen your skits, they're pretty hilarious. Yeah. Um, so I show jujitsu. So YouTube. Um, there's a couple things too I wanted to ask you, right? And you do some skits too, like if you get caught up in the alley with you know the wrong situation, what do you do, right? So yeah. talk to us about real life situations, right? Have, have you ever gotten into like an altercation where you actually had to use? Uh, yeah, yeah, I use. Um, I'll talk about one of them. Uh, one of them I used. Um, well, there, there's uh, what we learn at our school is called the Gracie Combatives, right? which is basically the white belt curriculum. And, um, and one of the moves, I forget which class it is. Like I have the, this is the, all the moves right here for that. So I use this, it's a move when, um, like it's like, what do you do when somebody's trying to charge at you for a takedown, right? Right. So this guy, he, he did that to me. So I did exactly what we learned in the class, right? Yeah. Like I, I um, the, the way it is, is like, um, you know, I'll show you, oh, Mark. So the dude tried to charge at me with like a double leg takedown. So I, I, I slowed him down with my shoulders and then I got his head into my armpit and I had him in a guillotine like this. And then we fell to the ground because I was a little rusty. And, and then I mounted him and then, you know, some of this. And then he tried to turn to his knees because that's nine times out of 10 what someone would do in the street. Once they go to the ground, they'll try to turn to their knees real quick to stand up. And then I got them in a rear naked choke and then they separated us. So, so is that, is that, cause it's like, I always think about like when you when you get into those situations, 
Yeah. Like, it's like the first thing that is just, you're just thinking about the moment, right? You're not thinking about anything else, right? You get all this adrenaline rush and to, to, to stop, right? And then like think, okay, I'm gonna do this. All right, I gotta do that. I mean, at that yeah. point, you're already kind of, you know, you're seasoned already that you know what move to do, right? Like, yep. all right, I'm gonna do that. It, it right? makes you like, um, the best scenario or analogy I thought of is, um, you know, the first time you ever got in a car before you learn how to drive, you're kind of like scared, right? You're like, oh damn, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, you don't know what does what, or you press this button, you don't know if the, you're gonna hit something, right? Right. But when you learn how to drive, you're comfortable, you're aware, you're like, okay, you know, like, oh, that car's there, I should stop. Yeah. You're aware, right? So you feel yeah. comfortable. And it's like the same thing when you learn uh, jujitsu. Like, you know, you're in the situation, but you feel comfortable. You know, okay, this is gonna happen, this could happen here. Yeah. So you feel more relaxed. And I would say, like, for me, at least the adrenaline, it doesn't really come like that, like, because you're more, you're, you're, I'm, I'm aware of what's going to happen. So yeah, like, okay. so I think awareness is, is, is key and you yeah. kind of build off of that over time, right? Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. a very controlled, it's a controlled, yeah. controlled environment. You're, you're, yeah. And it's super safe. Like, you ever fight a jiu-jitsu dude? Like, you're safe, you know, like, because there's, you, you know, you don't have to hit them. Like, putting someone to sleep is the most peaceful way to, like, in a sense, knock someone out, but... Have you ever put someone to sleep? Uh, on accident, my friend. <laughs> no, but it was a it was a just accident. We were just sparring, yeah. and then he's it just he just fell asleep. <laughs> so so when you Long put time ago. like a chokehold, yeah, 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 it was like when I was like sixteen years old. Yeah, like, I just let him go, and he's like, "Oh, what? I don't even know what happened." Right, right. I but, mean, is that is that like when you put someone to sleep? Um, you know, we see it all the time, right? When you know you're watching you know these UFC fights, and you know you get somebody that's tapping out, but yeah. So, like, for example, if you do right now to Mark, right? Uh -huh. And, like, from from the second you, you lock, you know, you get that lock on. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Does it, like, is there, like, a certain, like, amount of time where he's going to well, fall asleep? Totally like, it, it, everyone's a little different. Like, their, right, their, yeah. their, their tolerance. Yeah. So, but roughly, on average, will be, like, maybe, like, five to eight seconds. So, like, somebody has you in a chokehold and yeah. you're in it for like five to 10 seconds? For sure, you'll fall asleep. If they're squeezing hard yeah. and you don't escape, but most likely you're gonna fall asleep. So, rule of thumb is don't get in the chokehold. Uh, that would be ideal. Right. But, There's a lot of different variations. Yeah, but they're, they're, um, you, if you're sparring with someone, like someone's safe, like, you know, like, let's say you did fall asleep. Well, I'm just saying in you, general, like if oh, okay. you get into a like a fight, right? In the street, yeah. Same like you don't know, and, and they're trying to um, and know. they're trying to chokehold you, you know, like. Oh yeah, you know what but I mean? but normally like um there is escapes, but like if someone's trained, like it will be very hard. I would say very tough to escape their chokehold. Yeah. But if somebody like you know like a chokehold is like a random thing anyone could do, like yeah. even a little kid would know what it right. is somehow. Um, but there is ways to get out, but there is like oh damn like you know. Yeah. But ideal with well, the first case will be don't put yourself in that situation. Yeah. What what you, what are you doing right now as far as uh, cause you know you got how many social media channels you got? You got different ones, right? You got uh, I got jujitsu. You got some like skits. So what are you doing right now? Like your your focus right main now. Main focus is um building a jujitsu page. That's gonna be the main focus right now. Cause I think that's cause I always had this problem where I do too many different things at once. And yeah. then like everything's kind of like scattered, just that. And I found out like, all right, just focus on one. When that's good, you know, like a, like a business, you know. Yeah. You don't start another business until this one's like fully established. Keep going, yeah. doom, 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 revenue coming in. The same thing with this. Like, get I'm like I'm gonna keep this up going like as like as best as I could do. Yeah. And then um, when I feel like it's ready, I plan to start like um like my fitness page, because as much as I know about jujitsu, I know about fitness as well. Right. So, right. Try to help people like learn more about that type of stuff. So let's do something where, you know, you're gonna show how to do a triangle lock, right? Okay. That's, that's a popular move we see. A a lot triangle of choke. Do. Yeah. So okay. Let, let's do something like that, and then I want to see if Mark can get out of this. You down, Mark? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> much so let let let's do a, a demonstration, a quick demo of a, of a triangle lock. Okay, you want a triangle? Let me go to YouTube to see how you do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the steps. So, so so same thing. If somebody has you on the ground, they're on top. You guys are you know wrestling, wrestling, whatever. In a street or jujitsu versus jujitsu. We're gonna do jujitsu versus jujitsu. Like we're okay. gonna shoot like step by step. But okay. in this position, when when they're on top of you, um, from the base, right? This is the base, right? So yeah. Show us how it's done. Okay. You ready? So a, a good way to practice this is you shoot one arm in, and you keep one arm. And you show your legs over, boom, okay? So for a triangle, you always have a head and arm. Head, arm. Mm -hmm. Shoulder. No, okay. So, so we got Mark trying to get out of it? This is not the triangle lock up yet. Yeah. This is a setup right here. Yeah, the setup. So I got a, I got a hip up, bring this arm across, mm -hmm. cup his head, foot on his hip, grab my ankle, and lock it up here. And right here, it's already tight. Yeah. Like you see Mark's face getting red. Yeah. But how how do you how do you finish it while it's tight? Oh, okay. Okay, you want I'm gonna lock it up and you want Mark to try to get out? Mm. We're gonna Not have pretty much because I feel it, but you need to be able to I actually know, I know, I don't I don't wanna because you're you're gonna tap right away, that's why. Yeah. We don't wanna tap. Okay. We don't wanna tap out here, but just to get an idea of, of this, if Mark was trying to get out of it, okay, from, what, what what would be his escape plan? For him, first it depends where he's at in the triangle. Like right here, because that's like a like like yeah. seeing from here is like whoa. How's he gonna get yeah. out? Besides? All I gotta do is squeeze like this <coughs> with no yeah. hands. If I put yeah. my hands, it will be it will yeah, it would happen half the time. Right. But don't, it cho don't choke my guy out, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he tap. <laughs> he knows. He, he, no, but I'm saying like I've oh. seen I've seen where it's like. Um, so I, you, you're, so your I, idea I, is not to get in this position. Yeah, yeah. So but first up, you see you see his eyes. You see that's how tight it was. Damn. Because what it, what it does is it, you have your artery right here, right, that brings blood to your brain, right. two on both sides. This leg bites yeah. it, and then his shoulder and me pinching clogs the other one. So that happening at the same time, is, that's what creates the choke. Unless there's like a big old dude and he just carries you from, the top, from, from his knees, right? It depends, because there could be a big dude. But you can still lock him that, up. That like, if I cannot lock it up, it can still work if I clog one artery. Me personally, I'm not so good at the triangle yet because I don't really play with them as much. Yeah. So, but it's possible. But, but you could. It, but when you're doing a competition, everything goes right. Yes. Uh, like there's no. There's no like. Oh, you can't do this move. Uh, on some uh, the, on some belt ranks, you're only allowed to do certain moves. God. Only yeah. to prevent like injury, like a super right. bad injury. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> I'm Maybe up. yeah. So. So, okay, if you're working to escape a triangle, jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu guy, his first step right now will be, uh-uh. That, that's one. But I prefer the posture. Your posture straight, your head up. Sit back on your butt. There you go. That would be... To avoid. That's what I prefer. To avoid the art. Because if, if I cannot bring his head down, yeah. it's hard. That would be, like, I would say the first attempt. Okay. So that's a good way. And we're from right here. Let me see your hands. Give me your hand. Mm -hmm. Sit on your butt. That's where your base is. Okay. Head high. For one escape for him for here, he could turn his shoulders. Turn your shoulders out. And then no, pause, pause, pause. Okay. Turn your shoulder only. Okay. I'll get your other hand. Put it inside right here. And grab your hand. Grab your hands like this. And then pull this hand through, that way. All the way through, this way, in the hole. Pull it through the hole. No, no, no. Okay, this is like this. Let me see, go back. Go back. Pull it through like this. And oh, go double okay. under. Okay, go. There you go. That's okay. one way. The other way, that's another way, but I was trying to show that one. All right. All right, so, all right, so that's, it's kind of like the, the main thing here is stay in motion, right? Kind of like when you're doing like if we're doing a competition, uh -huh. right? I mean, for me, looking from, from looking from the outside in, right? Like I'm like I'm trying to be, I'm oh, trying to keep going. Yeah, I'm trying to like just be right. And that's that's what you see, right? In these, in these things, I, right? I, ideally, yeah. Um, but to get to that point where you can continue the emotion, the motion, yeah. is you have to have enough knowledge to do it. If you don't like know enough, then you kind of like pause and you're like, oh wait, what do I do from here again? You yeah. Know? So. Yeah, and every time I, I see some of my buddies that uh, they're they're like they're in jujitsu or they're just getting into it, 
Uh-huh. Like I see him like, damn, bro, I think it was it was like, woof, like that was a workout. Like, talk to us about that. Like, is is, is that like a good workout in general? Uh, I would say yes. It's good for I prefer it as a better workout than um than maybe working out at the gym. Like weight training? Yeah, well, right. they both have their ups and downs. Right, yeah. But I'm gonna say like in jujitsu it's kinda like it's very similar to like breakdancing, you know, like in the workout aspect. Because you know your breakdance, you work out a whole bunch of different muscles that Yeah, you just can't you can't hit at the you gym. You can't hit at the gym like yeah. like that, like that, you know? So like in jujitsu you're kinda using everything, like like um because all your body parts are moving, you know? Right. So I would say I would say I get a better um I'm gonna say on the cardio side workout, that side on strength training, maybe the gym is more better for that. Okay. Or like calisthenic workouts. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a great, it's an amazing way to lose weight though. I, I think it's one of the best ways out there to lose weight is jujitsu. There you there it is, guys. So, you heard it here first from Saicho. Yeah. So talk to why why do they call you Saicho? I mean, oh, the hair? so that's yes, that's the main thing, I believe. So <laughs> when I was training MMA at um Systems Training Center in Hawthorne, because yeah. I did uh, MMA a couple years back. And then this dude named Michael, he he would, um, he just gave me that nickname. Like, oh, what's up, Sideshow? And then I was like, all right. Yeah, you know, it, I, I heard that the, the best nicknames are the ones that are just given to you. No, so, yeah, that's true. I mean, you use that handle, so, right? It's like. So I'm like, all right, cool. Because I, I always have a hard time with picking a name for my. Instagram, because yeah. I'm, I'm bad at those type of things, like thinking of like a cool name. Yeah. I'd always just have my name and a number, but that was like kind of lame. Like, yeah. A number, a name is like, it's more memorable. Like, all sideshow, right. like, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I want to talk to you about your, your kimono. Okay. Well, Master Roshi gave me this one. Whoa. Right here. We had the Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So before you get into that, why? When there's competitions, do they wear them? Like, why, why, why don't they wear, uh, just just like, like this maybe, or just like no shirt they, and shit? They they or do. They're, they're uh, butt naked. Oh oh no yeah, <laughs> that that's in um, on the hub I think. No. <laughs> yeah, but, so, like as far as that, I'm just thinking because it's sometimes I feel like it's heavy or it's in the way. So tattoos, why? You're right. Why, it's why why do you guys wear that? They 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 do both. They do have tournaments that you wear this, and they have tournaments where you don't wear this. Yeah. Which are called this is gi. That's what it's called. And then, yeah, no gi is the other one. You can be naked too. <laughs> yeah. On the hub, not, not in the tournaments. No. Is, that, is, is that what you do, Mark, on the side? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. no they, they actually, like, they actually had this uh, tournament too with, yes, with no shirt. But I, I understand also with the no shirt because, oh. I mean, those, you guys are sweating and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, kinda... you could do no shirt like, in some tournaments. I think that some tournaments have rules where you cannot. You have yeah. to have a rash guard. But... Um, yeah, like there's, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, me, um, I like, like it's like this right now. I'm liking no gi a little bit better than the gi, but then maybe in two months I like the gi better again. So they both have their ups and downs, you know. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, you know, why? Oh, why? Yeah, and I, I just saw recently too. Uh, what's his name? Um, t uh, Tom Hardy. He just won a, oh, he won, yeah. he won a tournament in, in... In the gi? Yeah, well, but also it's like, um, you see, like, older men, like, okay, it doesn't matter, like, the age. Like, you could compete against, yeah, like, dude, there's some 60-year-olds. Like, there's some... That's why I... I I've, my, seen, I've seen you kind of you kind of do with some, like, older guys, and, like, you, you, you give them, like, their, you know, run for their money. Yeah, because it's, it's... I would say... Because, um, like, like I said earlier about... How like I like it jujitsu better than like uh, kickboxing and the fairness wise because like I like I said like someone could just barely come in it doesn't matter who it is yeah it's more fair you know because it's it's using like your technique and leverage over a bigger opponent yeah I think there's more definitely more technique towards this oh yeah yeah like yeah. It, there's more there, like you really gotta be patient like as far as like like I I would say is like more of a predatory type of sport where you have to know exactly when to strike or when to do a certain move because if you do a certain move and mm -hmm. right you might not get some boxing people might get mad here but you know when yeah. you compare boxing and we were just talking about this earlier right yeah when you, yeah, yeah. When you compare boxing with jiu-jitsu right uh -huh. like 
What would you say is like you gotta have this, you know, in your back pocket, man, just in case something jiu-jitsu? happens. Jiu-jitsu. Well, that's why like everyone in the UFC all has jiu-jitsu background, right? Because it's required. Like, there's no way if you have zero jiu-jitsu background and you're in MMA, like I, there's a super good chance like that. CM Punk or what? Huh? CM Punk. What's that? Was oh, he's a he was like a wrestler and he, he just jumped into a UFC without like oh yeah any background. Well, re- wrestler, I would say wrestling and jiu-jitsu, they're like. Brother, sister, you know? Yeah. So, like... Because um, if you don't have mat work, but you, you have, like, say, strike, strike yeah, yeah. work... Well, you, 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 knock you out. Yeah. yeah. So UFC, like, UFC 1, you know what UFC 1 was about? It was, like, who was the best, like, at the time, like, oh, which is well, the I best martial there, art? There was no weight class, right? Yeah, it was just uh, martial art versus martial art, like, boxing versus this, yeah. this versus that. And then uh, the first winner of the UFC, the first UFC is Hoist Gracie. And he, he won with jiu-jitsu using, like, I believe he's a rear naked choke, triangle. Because when, when most of these dudes went to the ground, they had no idea what to do. Like, they just, like, they oh, just yeah, never practiced it's like practiced you're, like, that. in the freaking middle of the ocean. Like, yeah, like, they, like, like, you have no idea what to do. Like, you're, like, like so when you hop in a car for the first time, you're, like, right. what? You so know? that's where awareness comes in. And then we talk about as far as you being... Um, like it's more of a predatory sport where it's like okay now if you don't know what you're doing the mat then you know then the shark is gonna like pretty much take yeah. over right uh yeah i'll say yeah 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 so i mean for for somebody that's like just getting started uh-huh what do you recommend how uh you know we got mark he's just starting out right uh, yeah so, so like what's some of the things to like to, to get into or places to go and then just kind of like yeah. try it out i'll say um like, if you guys ever go to bars and stuff, like... Find somebody and just fuck them up. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Like, Start you know... Fight. Yeah, no. You must stay away. Huh, go test your <laughs> skills, guys. No. Unless like they actually, like, throw the first punch. That's yeah. Like, like, every bar has their own vibe, right? You know? Yeah. Like, you go to this bar, it's like, oh, 80s vibe. Or, yeah. like, this bar, they play hip-hop, right? Or, yeah. Or bachata. No. <laughs> but, like, just like the jiu-jitsu <laughs> gyms, it's the same thing. Like, every... To me... Every jiu-jitsu gym has their own vibe, right. you know? So, like, I would say you could go try out different places and see one that, like, you know, you, you feel like, all right, I, I feel like this is the spot, you know? So oh, Okay. So it's almost like, I mean, it's it's like everything, right? You, you got to feel it out, see how, you know, yeah, yeah, see, the, yeah. see if the mood is, like, kind of right. Yeah. And then it depends what you're trying to do, too, in my opinion. Like, if you're trying to compete and you want to do some tournaments, uh, maybe look for, like, a competition school based. You know, like where they train like competition style. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, it would be just to kind of like when I when I go to the gym, it's like a uh-huh. de stress or just to like yeah, kind of like, get your mind off of everything, right? And I feel like I mean, jujitsu, it's like a like I might just get into it and just be like it's a puzzle. It's like it's like a chess like, match. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like you're, you're using your I, brain, but you're working I, your brain muscle, but at the yeah. same time. It's like you gotta work on your breathing. You gotta work on your discipline. You know? It's mm-hmm. like all those things. And, and I think, I oh, think that's s- another thing, man. When, oh, you yeah. were, when you were on top of me, no homo. Um, yeah, yeah. Like homo. I was like, I really gotta like bend my knees, or I really gotta like be like Gumby. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, damn, man. Like my flexibility is like I gotta really uh-huh. like work on that because like if you if you're not flexible, I feel like shit. Like you, you're, that's how you, that's how yeah. You get you right away. It it helps yeah. you. It helps to be more flexible. Yeah. Like, but. Uh, is it required? Like, not 100%, I would say. Yeah. But I think someone, like, for your life, like, you know, you like camera. I don't think you really care about doing a tournament to win. Like, someone like you, maybe... Who knows, man? Oh, yeah, you can... It's always possible. (laughs) But I think someone, like, more, like, it will be, like, somewhere, like, more, like, where I train. Like, people do, like, because they just want to learn the art. They don't want to spar, like... Yeah, it's good good sportsmanship, you know, and just, like, you know... Just to kind of get the best out of each other, but mm-hmm. um, and then I always see you on the on the on the ball there, man. Like, talk to us about like the little the balance. Oh, and- this ball, uh, I learned this from um, some friends of mine, at Sanctify Sanctify Pros or Bros. I forgot. Sorry, they're in Paramount. Uh, they Shout have, out Paramount. Yeah, they have their. It's my friends Jim, Ruben, and Germo. So I, I took a little session with them, and then my he showed me like something with the ball. And I was like, oh, wow, like, that's cool. Like, very, like, yeah, like, what, I never even thought about that. But what, talk to us about, like, what, what's, what's significant yeah. about having, like, just being the balance in the ball? And what, the what, ball, yeah. so, so, 
Okay, so like, basically he showed me something, like how to try to walk on it. It was super hard. And then, like I expanded my mind with it, and I just started playing with it at the gym, right? So for me, what the ball has helped me do, like it's helped me like learn how to tune out people. Like Mark could be doing anything over there, and I don't care what he's doing. And it also like trained me from like, my mind can be focused on like what I'm trying to discuss for this, while my body is focused with, you know, keeping that yeah. balance. So it's helped with like Remind balance, okay. yeah, balance, balance and focus. Okay, because even for one second, if I try to like fight the ball, I will lose. I will lose against the ball all the time because the ball is like a mo momentum, right? right? And it's like water. You can't like fight the wave. You have to go with it. So it's kind. It's kind of helped me apply that to like my brain about things, and it's also a good workout. Like yeah. I, my quads, core, my too. little joints in here, the core, yeah. Uh, and flexibility. I feel like the ball's super underrated, but maybe not for long. <laughs> and it helps with motion, like of, in certain moves, like you get you get your body comfortable with certain things. Oh yeah. It's pretty much for rolling. <laughs> or, Use or the ball, guys. Some would, girls. Say, some would say for other things too. Yeah. You know what I mean? That comes in handy. Oh yeah, Mark would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a, and it looks cool. I feel like, you know, you're, yeah. it looks tight. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, as we wrap up here, uh, what's one thing that you would say um, that you would tell somebody that's just getting into jujitsu? Uh, don't, don't quit. Keep trying. Don't be the hardest, the hardest stages to me in jujitsu are like. It's probably going to be maybe in the first six months. That's the hardest. Because you don't know nothing. Like just, you, and just, just, just getting your feet wet? That's going to be like... Yeah. And, it, and like, you know, research things on YouTube. You know, how to be better. How to always be or check out this, Or check out his guy's uh, IG, TikTok. Oh, yeah. Or, or learn some moves right there. You know? And just be calm. You know, don't try to be use your strength too much. Use your technique. Uh, try to... I don't know. Follow some accounts that have YouTube content. Ego. Learn some stuff. Nice, nice, nice. And it's for everyone. It is for it's everyone. For everyone. Eight, ages zero to one hundred. Uh huh. <laughs> but one hundred one. Uh uh. Nice right now. And then, uh, where's all your uh, your handles at? My handles. All right. So on TikTok, that's the main one. It's Sideshow Three One Zero. How many, then, how many followers you got on that? On TikTok, is 100K. Damn. Right now. Yep. Killing it over there. I'm trying. Killing it. I'm grilling it. No. So, <laughs> and then on, on Instagram, it's Sideshow310. And YouTube, Sideshow Jiu-Jitsu. There it is, guys. There it oh. is. So hopefully you guys got something, you know, from this episode. Uh, I know we're going to kind of dive into it. We're probably going to go hit the mat and then, you know, see if I could get out of this... Uh, Strangle or whatever, you know, what's it called? Uh, rear naked choke, triangle choke. Rear naked choke. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So we're going to wrap it up here with Anthony Ruiz, a.k.a. Sideshow. Pleasure to having you, man. Thank Mark, you for having me, bro. Thanks for being our uh, dummy. Our dummy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again. Peace out. All right. Peace out, guys. See you. All right, man. Good thing, good thing. Thank you. No more Would you like to be on the podcast? Got something to talk about? Make sure to head over to the website, hardwoodrod.com. Leave your name and the topic you'd like to discuss, and I'll add you to the calendar. If you guys enjoyed that episode, make sure you check out the other episodes, and make sure to subscribe, like, and share. This is Hardwood Rod. Peace.